Hey, I want to talk today a little bit about how to multitask. It's a question I'm, I'm often asked, how do you work on several projects at any one time? And I think, um, number one, you have to know your personality. Some people are born multitaskers. I certainly am. I've had my Myers-Briggs profile personality preferences done many times, and I'm someone who thrives on variety. My profile, if you're interested, is introversion slash extroversion. So I'm what's known as gregarious introvert, which means I like time alone, but I also like time with people too to get my energy uh, in. So I'm INFP, in for intuition or loving the whole realm of ideas rather than just purely concrete factual details. Um, if because of the feeling side and the emotional side, but that's borderline with thinking. So again, analytical as well. I'm kind of a rare mix of um, many things actually. And then P for perceiving, which means we like to gather information. We're not necessarily, we're organic and spontaneous, not necessarily like my counterpart, the Jays who are, you know, we think of someone with a clothes hanger, always organized, systematic and, um, structured and, and they thrive on getting things completed. Anyone can multitask. Some people will swim with it differently and some people it will drive them nuts. And they're probably the people that have been writing the books about focus on one thing. I must confess, probably they say 10% of the population shares the personality preferences that I have. And that means there's also another whole bunch of people, thousands of people, given the millions and billions of people in the universe um, that also share my preferences. But then some people struggle because they want to learn how to be a little bit more fluid and, and um, less structured. So anyway, I'm just going to share with you my tips for how I multitask. And perhaps this might be helpful to you too, because maybe you've got two or three projects that you'd love to do. Maybe you don't want to limit yourself to just one thing. Maybe you want to hedge your bets. You're not sure which one will take off yet. I know the New Zealand acclaimed painter, uh, Toss Wollaston, he devoted himself to painting and writing. And he said he was just going to see which one took off. And for him, in his case, painting um, took off for him. But it could just as readily have been his writing. Um, Leonardo da Vinci, one could argue his painting took off, but then so did his scientific experiments. So it's not just creative people who love to multitask, but it does seem to sort of err on our side to be just the joy of creating. Then we've got to blend that with the joy of finishing to bring some more structure into our lives. So I'll give you an example from today. Today I worked in batches. So I worked, I made a commitment, scheduled it in that the mornings are dedicated to my Renaissance novel. And I just worked on that uh, for about two or three hours. And um, that's Mona Lisa's secret. Then I gave myself a little break and I went to the studio and I had a little half an hour just preparing some canvases and getting ready to do some painting later on in the afternoon. Then I went back into doing some reading around my novel and my genre. And so while I wasn't adding words to my novel, I was adding, I was enriching the context. And I even made some, a little scene doing a little handwritten note. Then later I had some domestic things to take care of, chores, you know, things that women men have to do, shopping, looking after the home, etc. And I, while I did that, I had a coffee and I, and, I, and I multitasked again. I just did a little scene for a romance novel that I'm working on. So currently I'm working on many things which I talk about in my book, Midlife Career Combo. I like to have a com combination of things on the go, but I have to make sure that I'm devoting enough time to each of the different pots. And that sometimes takes a bit of prioritization. What is it? Um, my attention just got diverted because a beautiful wood pigeon just flew across um, my path. So beautiful, so rare. Anyway, so yeah, you have to 
work out how much time are you devoting some of you may have a main full-time bread and butter job that perhaps you feel it soaks up sucks up a lot of your energy but it's amazing how energizing it is when you do something that makes you happy and I shared some of those tips about happiness and mental health on my Instagram page so if you're not following following me yet please do let's just take a little screen share and see um, what it was that I mentioned because it has relevance for multitasking because really you've got to keep your energy levels high so um, I'll just show you here sometimes I like to use this app called focus at well and I might just batch my productivity for 15 minutes or maybe longer I may change the theme or the music um, to something more zen piano um, alpha chill na nature beat um, focus spa tranquil and calm so I can change all that and then I can just you know I can I can pick a time use the timer and then just work for that period of time let's just see if we can play you a little excerpt oh I know because I've got my isn't it lovely mm -hmm. And that helps put me in a flow state of getting out of my mind and into the flow of the energy of the project that I'm working on. You look at my Instagram. Oops. So you can find me on Cassandra Gaysford on Instagram and I share uplifting posts, but today I share this around mental health. Spend time outdoors to help boost vitamin D levels. So important right now as one of the big cures they've said for one of the big things that can help boost our immune system during the COVID virus is um, increasing our vitamin D levels, which is why I love to record outside or write outside or paint outside. It's one of my paintings, a big commission called um, Always Summer. So even though we're going into autumn and winter as I record this, it's always summer. And so that's another thing that I do, multitasking on different projects. Love longer by being persistent, organized and disciplined. So that has relevance too, because you do have to be persistent. You have to keep showing up. You have to be organized. You have to know when you're going to do this project or that project, have the right technology, have your space set up, etc. And be disciplined. It's easy to procrastinate. Um, make sure you're exercising, walk to improve your overall health. Definitely meditation is a big factor in my success of being able to multitask successfully. I meditate in the morning and I meditate at night. And even if it's just five minutes, it's just so clearing because it's hard to multitask if your brain feels like chewing gum or everything caught and blocked and sticking. Aim for eight hours sleep. Some people, um, Daniel Steele multitasks on, she writes three books at a time often and she says she needs very little sleep. Just know your own body. Um, a big thing there is, and I get onto this further down, is limit your alcohol intake because that will disrupt your sleep. Write items in your journal for which, um, which fill you with gratitude. So, um, I do that every night and sometimes during the day and sometimes I look back on it. It trains you to stop looking at things that aren't going well. And again, it lifts your vibration to the high energy of gratitude and joy and love. Eat regular fruit and vegetables. Just now, my partner and I have made a beautiful drink recommended by a, uh, what do you call them? They're like, not a dietitian, but a, a health advisor anyway, uh, Fit for Food is his business, look him up, fantastic advice regarding lowering blood pressure and stress levels, juice and beetroot, ginger, orange, apple and celery, 
it's so yummy it's so sweet and um, think about all those vegetables that we're not having to chew our way through drink less alcohol and replace three liters of water for three weeks for happier thoughts and clearer skin and take a photo of your face before and after <laughs> that's really funny and cute uh, definitely limit your alcohol. So many artists, I was watching a very sad documentary about Amy Winehouse and how she died of alcohol poisoning and just to just to gradual demise through alcohol and drugs and just addiction. Not saying we're all addicted, but many of us are self-medicating with alcohol, so not going to help you multitask and it will, won't help your productivity. Um, Replace it with some sparkling water and have it in a wine glass if you want to feel grown up. Switch off your phone two hours before bed. Yeah, you don't want all those sort of big bright rays or texts or awful messages or someone sending a bill to you during like um, one accountant I know sends big invoices or tax demands at like 5 a.m. or um, 10 p.m. or during the weekend so yeah just try and go uncontactable so they're just a, a few little tips about how I multitask and use um, things like Scrivener to work on my certain projects at any one time I use um, so I can go into that then I can go back into um, I love using um, I organize a lot of my novels through um, my Evernote thing so right now I just did a little bit of writing and what is it called not on this book but you can see one of my books playing by the sheet under Molly Matthews I, I might upload notes here make little comments i just did a um some notes on my phone for another book uh, it's just really about using your time wisely and setting yourself a completion challenge about when you want to finish your book or your painting or have an exhibition or whatever it is so i hope it's been helpful for multitasking what we've covered is know your personality and know how you work best also be mindful of your flaws if you're someone who just loves researching and going on and on and on then um, set a deadline if you're someone too impatient to get it perfect you may need to learn to be a bit more fluid with your multitasking um, if you're someone who gets bored you might like to have several projects at different stages on the go or vary it with a different type of you know like I write self-empowerment books but I also write romance books and art related fiction you may have a bread and butter job but dedicate some time multitask for having a career combo and dipping and diving into something that will give you energy that you're fascinated by I'm fascinated by the renaissance you can see in um, my I've got a whole big folder um, right now I found an interesting article about a secret crypt to unearth it's just amazing how much your energy will just boom when you're actually absorbed in something so i'd welcome your comments and um, as always thanks for watching and um, yeah just love to know how perhaps this particular video has been helpful to you bye for now it's been cassandra <laughs>